This next drill we're gonna be doing is working on your slices. Um, this is where the first progression of this is gonna be a ball toss and then a catch. So the player is gonna be working on their slices. It's not about hitting it hard, it's not about hitting it deep, it's about hitting the ball right back to the feeder, okay? So as we do this, the pair is not, you know, just basically just be tossing a soft ball. The player is working on their technique and you don't want to try to kill the ball back at the feeder, all right? So you just want to be able to move your feet, get in position with a smooth technical swing. And so you're just mixing them up, side, sideways, back and forward. And then after you've done that a couple of times, we're gonna progress this by moving to the other side of the net. So last two balls. Excellent job. So in this drill, this is a ball, this is a ball toss drill. Now that's what you would do for the first progression. It's a ball toss. Now the second progression, we're gonna move further away from the player. You can continue to just toss the ball, or now you can bring out your rack, whichever one you feel comfortable with. So this time, if you are ball tossing, you're gonna do an overhead throw to the player, but now the player is not hitting back to the feeder. All right, here we go. So when we toss this, you have to move. So now we're kind of just working in on getting to the ball. You gotta let them recover. If you wanna kind of make them you know, run around, you can has the feeder. Go ahead. Can you throw it deeper, Wendy? Throw it deeper. There you go. Nice slice. And last three. Good get. Look at you learning how to, how to slide a little bit. Two and one perfect so those are the first two progressions so again just to recap the first one we're just trying to get the ball um, back to the feeder in the first progression it's not about pace at this point you're just going to be looking at their technique and at that stage of the progression if you need to make corrections please do so before you move on to the second one All right, third progression for this is where we are doing mini tennis slicing back and forth with a partner, okay? Um, now, it's okay if the parent isn't able to do the slicing. If you need to do top spin, no big deal. But the player would need to work on their slice technique for this. So basically, I just need a couple of balls. These two are already demonstrating what we're doing. And it's just hitting the ball back and forth keeping the ball in between the service boxes. Um, now the player needs to make sure they're focusing in on kind of driving the ball. We don't want to pop up the slice. We want to keep the ball going deep, almost landing on that service line and just working on that consistency. These drills aren't meant, there isn't meant to be a winner or a loser. You're just working on your technique and your consistency. Now after you've taking some time to hit the ball back and forth from this level we are going to move it on back to the baseline okay so the same rules apply the parent or their partner at the time it doesn't matter if they're doing top spin um, but the player who's working on their slice needs to always use that under spin technique all right let's move this back to the baseline Good volley.
Here you go, Wendy. And last one. Okay. Now, when y'all are doing this, please make sure that, again, you are cooperating with one another. We are not trying to, again, win or lose a point. We're just trying to work on the skill set. All right.